Hi there. Well, for the last couple of months, I've been working with the Surface Studio. Now, for those that don't know, the Surface Studio is a 28 inch 5K tablet that sits on your desk. And with one finger, you can transform it into a desktop computer. It works with the Surface Pen and Touch, so it's a really creative device. And I should say that I'm not a digital artist. I don't draw or sketch on the Surface Studio. If you did those tasks, I think the Surface Studio would be a fantastic device for that purpose. But I'm really going to focus on some of the other aspects of creativity for everybody else that you can use the Surface Studio for. So the five applications that I'm going to review on the Surface Studio are OneNote, Drawboard PDF, Bluebeam PDF, Adobe Premiere for video editing, and Adobe Lightroom for photo editing. In this video, I'm going to have a look at how I use OneNote on the Surface Studio. Now I use OneNote a lot, especially on my Surface Pro. I love to take notes in OneNote. I love to really get creative. And over the last few years, I've found new and different ways of expressing myself by note taking within the infinite canvas of OneNote. I love the fact that OneNote isn't an A4 sheet of paper or a letter size sheet of paper. It's a vast infinite digital space. So that allows me to get very, very creative without getting distracted by the bounds of a sheet of paper. However, the size of the screen of the Surface Pro is around about the same size as an A4 sheet of paper. What if I want to go beyond that? And that's where the Surface Studio really comes in. So to give you an example, I'm working on some uh, ideas and business concepts and I wanted to do a bit of a storyboard around this particular business concept. And um, so what I've done here is I've gathered up some photographs uh, that really sort of tell the story around the idea that I'm working with and I'm just dragging and dropping them onto the page in OneNote. I'm going to rearrange those into topic clouds, visual topic clouds. And I'm going to tell a bit of a story and go through a bit of a path using those pictures on this canvas. And you can see that the Surface Studio is really well suited to that sort of creative work. So that sort of work might not be what you typically think of when you think of something like the Surface Studio, really targeted at creatives and designers. But everybody in an office, in a workplace, actually has the ability to do creative work like that. So working with OneNote on the Surface Studio gives me the freedom to break outside of the bounds of a sheet of paper. As you can see, I've got this digital space here that I can keep panning across, down, wherever I want to go. So as my imagination takes hold, I'm able to just spill that information straight onto the page uh, without distraction and without hesitation. So as I'm working with this brainstorm, I'm using the pen to select pictures, in fact, group pictures together, to resize them, using the pen and touch and to move them around on the screen as well. I'm using touch to reorder the images, bring them forward, send them to the back so that I can get the layout right. And not only am I moving the images, I'm also selecting my handwritten text and re-piecing that together and moving it around as I go. So I've, I've read a lot of comments online and a lot of people saying that this device is an expensive device. And it certainly is if you compare it to say a desktop computer or maybe even a basic tablet. But the beauty of this device is that it allows you to work completely differently to any other device you've used before. It's not like a desktop computer or even a piece of paper. It combines the best of both of those two worlds into a digital space. So for example, when I'm working on the page there, I'm using my pen in a real natural input style, like I would use on paper, and I'm combining that with digital content from the internet or from other sources right onto a hybrid digital page. So having touch on the device and also having that beautiful hinge mechanism there allows me to feel very close uh, and connected with the device in a way that you cannot do with a desktop computer. Being able to touch the screen and move the canvas around here in OneNote uh, gives it just such a beautiful tactile feel. So I really love that the Surface Studio gives me this great big creative space to work with, especially when I'm working in OneNote. And when I'm in the office, I'll often take advantage of that time to go to the Surface Studio and to really use that for brainstorming and expanding on those concepts.